guys, did you hear? Like Steve didn't question his sexuality. About guys, <laughs> guys. guys. Um, the better Mac. The B side word. The better, better Mac. Mac. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about this it? Is, is I it thought a, you would been up to your better uh, Mac. Uh, uh, it's a better Mac. It's better than the original Mac. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a song, but McDonald's <laughs> are suing <laughs> this small burger place in Penrith, Western Sydney, um, because they have named their weekly special the Better Mac. And McDonald's have sent a cease and desist saying, you know better, now take it down. Ooh, they even put, you know better. Yes. So basically, um, the first one's put on Twitter or Instagram or wherever they go, first burger special of 2020 you've seen at McDonald's AU. So they weren't trying to hide it. Yeah. They fully like, you know, linked it. Did they lean into it? They were like, you've seen at McDonald's AU bring out their bigger, better Big Mac, the Grand Mac. Here's our take on things. Better Mac. We could save, we could list the ingredients, but you all know what's in this winky face available from 13th to 25th of Jan. And then, um, yeah, Maccas are not impressed. Now, I say leave them alone, Maccas. Yeah, why? Because this place isn't going to suddenly just like go global and take all your profits. Mm -hmm. It's like one little place. They're protecting their items. You can't call like... This is the Seaside podcast. Yeah, you can. But it's basically a of us. But there's people have been ripping off stuff the whole way through history. Yes, but not these days. You've got copyright. Like, I get it, and I get that what they've done is wrong. I do get it. But then, but then wouldn't you just like be like, oh, okay, we'll let them have, we'll let them have it for just two weeks. Or call them Mac Daddy. Yeah, like I it's think not a permanent fixture on their menu. It I was have, just like a special. I would have gone there. I would have leaned into it. No, but, but I would have given it a different name. I would have no, I would have gone there and eaten it. And if it was really good, I would have asked them. Okay, man, this is pretty good. Come help me up in the in creating a, a better Mac. Instead of now, it looks like that. Um, They're being petty. Yeah, McDonald's is picking on the younger guys. Uh, you should smaller. see a picture of this burger. Okay, can, can, can we bring it up? Um, and not just that, like, it's advertising for the Better Mac. I know. Like, if I was to open a place up, right, I would. All right. Um, just put, put um, Sydney Burger, Penrith, hang on, hang Better on. Mac. Better Big Mac. Better Big Mac, Sydney Sydney, Penrith. See, it's not even coming up on the bloody thing. There you go. There it is there. Go. It's down the list. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's a different... There oh, there you go. It doesn't even look like a Big Mac. It looks beautiful. It looks horrible. <laughs> what? It Does looks- that look beautiful? Yes. I'll smash one of them. That looks so good right I'll now. I'll smash one of them. That. Do you think that looks horrible? Uh, it's not... It's not attractive. What? I'm not, making, I'm not making love to I'm it. I'm not making love to that. Uh, I wasn't going to make love to it either. I think that looks better than a Big Mac. That looks like... That looks yeah. more natural. Yeah. That looks more natural than a Big Mac. That looks like it's been made Cooked. Yeah, made with love. Look at all the beautiful sauce coming out. Oh, oh that oozing. looks nice. That looks nice. I'll smash that. I don't even think that'll stay together. That That's a messy Mac. There you go. They should have named it the messy Mac. I don't Mac. think you can call Mac. it Mac. All right, let's go with... Because uh, I would call it Big Daddy Mac, because then how can they sue me? Like, okay, it's Big Daddy. Yeah. Mac is a rapper. Yeah. I yeah. named it after a rapper. Yeah. He can sue me, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I have no... Uh, look, yeah, I it doesn't don't... Even I look think, like a Big Mac. I think Mac should have taken a different approach. It's just... Like, but they're what they've so done is, the they've given these guys, they've so given these guys some free tr- advertising. They've given... Massive. Well, yeah. well, McDonald's haven't come after him fully yet. They've said... They've given him a cease and desist and said... Take it down, otherwise we we're coming will... after you. Yeah. Okay. In, in circumstances, who invented the cheeseburger? Why doesn't he got all these companies going, hey, stop using the cheeseburger? I invented it. Oh, the better cheeseburger. It's just the name. It's Mac Cheeseburger. No, but they call it the cheeseburger. No, Mac Cheeseburger, no? No, it's cheeseburger. No. Mac Junior Burger. Junior no. Burger? No, it's not. It's, it's just cheeseburger. Mac. Just cheeseburger. So the guy who invented the cheeseburger could actually give Hungry Jacks, Mac is a cease and assist. Well, probably don't know who invented it. Do we know who invented it? Mr. Cheeseburger.
I don't know. It's just, just a cheeseburger. cheeseburger. So what I'm saying is, there's a family out there whose great grandfather has invented this burger, and they have the right to it. So oh, do you want to find out who invented the yeah. cheeseburger? No, but no, because so many places have cheeseburgers. Like, but he can send the, they can send a cease and desist to everyone. Yeah, but Mac, and get paid for it. But Mac is a like um, their trade. That's Mark. their thing. Like cheeseburger is very g- generic. If someone said the better cheeseburger, I don't think Maccas will come after them. No, they can't. Yeah, but if they're using the exact same name of what this guy has used, mm. it's, his, it's, it's his intellectual property. I don't think it's someone that came out with it. I just think it's like chicken. No, like no, you can't, it's not. like it's like roast no, chicken. It's, it is. No, it's not. It's like roast chicken, right? No one like said, I'm naming this roast chicken. It just is. No, but roast chicken would have been down in the old days when they roast the chicken. A burger or like was salad. invented recently. Like you, like you can't go like, this is a Caesar salad too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I'm like, uh, you know, obviously it has given oh. them free advertising. Lionel Stenberger. Oh, they've even got his last name in it. Is reputed to have introduced the cheeseburger when he was 16. Well, the Sternberger family, please send McDonald's a cease and desist letter about using their name on cheeseburger. Wow. He experimentally amazing. dropped a slab of American cheese on a sizzling burger, hamburger. Ooh, good experiment. I wonder, I wonder if they could, or unless they bought it out. How could they buy them out? If they've bought it out, then other venues can't use it. Like Hungry Jack's? Mm. Do they um, have burger a cheeseburger? King? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 they do. They do. And it's quite nice. Quite I've never once in my life ordered the hamburger. I have when I was like four. Yeah, when I was really young. Like I think when... Um, Has it got the pickles and stuff in yeah. it? Yeah. Just a pickle and Who invented the hamburger? Like that cheese really does make a difference. Yeah. Who invented the hamburger? Handburger? The hamburger. <laughs> But laughing the same family, they've been they've been getting paid for generations and generations. Fletcher Davis of Athens, Fletch, Texas, <laughs> not Greece. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> where you go? Where you go? This is quite interesting. According to oral histories, eighteen eighties. Oral histories is um spoken words. Yeah, but that family <laughs> could could have, it's they're into into uh, uh, what's that word? Intellectual property. I don't know if it is. I don't think you. They, okay, if Macca's is intellectual property, is that Mac thing? They're a corporation. These people weren't uh, corporations. I don't think they done it. Like I didn't think they go but went that in. If depth. they made it, then they had to make it for someone else, didn't they? Huh? Okay, it wouldn't have gone around the world globally yeah. if it was just what's his name Fletcher was cooking this at home mm. for him and his wife Susan. Yeah, because him and Susan having these hamburgers. <laughs> And then they go, oh, Susan, this is actually quite nice. <laughs> Maybe we should open an establishment. <laughs> yeah, he says it's, he had a lunch counter where he served a burger of so, fried ground beef patties with mustard and a Bermuda onion between two slices of bread and a pickle on the side. You know what? I'm thinking about this um, Macca's versus this little shop, right? If they've got nothing, if they're not afraid of anything, go up against it. A hundred <laughs> people, a thousand people. Eat both burgers and they vote. No, yeah, no, but, but, they're not, but you can't use the name. Macca's aren't I understand. In that. But, but I'm what I'm saying is, is that, like, Macca's they're, they're so afraid. They shouldn't be using the name or not. I'm saying they're so afraid. They're such a big corporation. Who's afraid? They shouldn't be afraid of, like, letting these small. Con- That's um, what I mean. Just let them go. Two weeks. No, but they, they don't want someone stealing the intellectual I get property. It. So they've stolen someone's intellectual property. They're, 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 they're hypocrites. Yeah, but it's not just them. It's just like a word now. You get what I mean? Mm. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just Pointing out the fact that they're being hypocritical in the sense they stole this bloke's intellectual property. And now that someone's doing it to them, they're all like, oh no, don't yeah, but do it. But they're all, you're like, you're comparing um, something that's like a generic word yeah, compared like to something. Because like, like, it's um, McDonald's. You know what I mean? McDonald's and it's okay. a big Mac. Hamburger. How yeah. is that a generic word back in those days? Not today it is. Yes, but like, in those like, days, that would have been a, gen- a generic yeah, word. About any any food is just a generic word, but yeah. because they've got Big Mac, Big Mac, it doesn't say Big Hamburger Mac. Like, like if it was a ham, like hamburger is like not a generic word. It's a word that we've created to describe the food. 
It's a generic word. Why are you fighting me with that? It's, it's a generic word now. Yeah. But back when they would have stolen that guy's intellectual property, it wasn't a generic, generic word. I don't word. even know where you got. Like, I'm trying to figure out the angle you're trying to go at I'm here. I'm the angle. Because it doesn't matter. I reckon the Fletcher family should be suing them. They should be suing them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I reckon the Fletcher family should be calling up a lawyer and saying, can you send McDonald's, Hungry Jacks, a cease and desist letter? It's Davis family. Okay, the Davis family. Sorry, Fletcher. Um, a cease and desist letter. Sorry, Fletchers. <laughs> Sorry, Fletchers. <laughs> Peace. A, a cease and desist letter about yeah. using hamburgers. And Lionel. And Lionel. Stenberger. You, yep. Cheeseburgers. And also, <laughs> right, this is what they say. The offend, This is the, the in the cease and desist. The offending mark is deceptively similar to McDonald's famous Big Mac. Who is going to walk into this other Sydney burger place and go, McDonald's, it's McDonald's, <laughs> right? Nah, because what the hell? Sure, sure, let's look up hamburgers, right? And look how many look similar to the Big Mac. Yeah, but who's going to walk you into... You can make a copy Big Mac and just call it like, it's Jane Burger. Yeah. Yeah. Or... It's a Fletcher. We can call it the Big Tack. <laughs> just so it's like really close. Or the Big Whack. Because it's upside down M. <laughs> <laughs> They go, that's similar to the Big Mac. It's the Big Whack. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Coming to America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch the cameras behind. Oh. Coming to America, it's called McDonald's, right? And he's explaining <laughs> McDowell's. He goes, they think we're copying, but they have the golden arches. We have the golden arch. <laughs> 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 the, no, sorry, the golden arcs. The uh-huh. golden arcs, not the golden arches. I was like, this guy. And then you see him later in the film, he's got the McDonald um, <laughs> manual. <Yeah. laughs> and someone comes in and he goes, oh. <laughs> <What's that laughs> uh, yeah, I saw that. Can I get me a big McDowell? <laughs> 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 and then he started going, we, he, they have a sesame seed bun. We have just a plain bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good film. 